Meg is the name. Megan furious over shocking major inheritance news for Lady Louise. A battle for Queen Elizabeth II's jewelry. Among the many intriguing tales surrounding royal families, few stories captivate public interest like those involving inheritance and succession. Following the death of Queen Elizabeth II, a debate has emerged over the fate of her vast and historic jewelry collection, raising questions about who will ultimately possess these priceless treasures. Two prominent figures have emerged in this discussion, Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, and Lady Louise Windsor, the daughter of Prince Edward and Sophie, Countess of Wessex. The potential rivalry between these two women over the Queen's famed jewels adds a fascinating twist to the traditional narrative of royal bequests. Queen Elizabeth II amassed an impressive jewelry collection, rich with historical significance, from the stunning Nizam of Hyderabad necklace to the iconic Cambridge lover's knot tiara. Each piece not only showcases royal wealth, but also embodies history, relationships, and the evolution of the Queen's taste. Many of these jewels are tied to significant events in the royal family's life, making them even more desirable. Since becoming the Duchess of Sussex in 2018, Meghan Markle has found herself at the center of numerous controversies. Her decision to step back from royal duties and relocate to California marked a turning point that significantly altered public and media perceptions of the royal family. Meghan has worked to build her brand around empowerment and philanthropy, yet her conflicts with the royal family have remained evident. If Meghan were to seek pieces from Queen Elizabeth's collection, it might resonate with those who view her as a progressive force within a traditionally conservative monarchy. However, her past experiences with royal protocols may lead to contentious discussions regarding the jewelry. Would her intentions be seen as an embrace of her diasporic heritage or as a statement of liberation? In contrast, Lady Louise Windsor, at only 20 years old, represents a different aspect of the royal family. As the only daughter of Prince Edward and Sophie, Countess of Wessex, she embodies the monarchy's traditions and values. While Meghan was the newcomer trying to navigate royal expectations, Lady Louise is seen as a genuine product of the institution. As the debate unfolds over who will inherit the Queen's jewelry, it highlights deeper issues within the royal family and the changing dynamics of modern monarchy. The tension between tradition and contemporary values becomes increasingly relevant as public interest in royal matters grows. Both Meghan and Lady Louise face unique challenges in their potential claims to the jewelry. Meghan's position as a former royal, now an outspoken advocate for change, contrasts sharply with Lady Louise's upbringing within the monarchy. This juxtaposition raises questions about the future of the royal family and the role of its members in a rapidly evolving society. As we watch this royal saga develop, the implications of who inherits Queen Elizabeth II's jewelry collection could extend beyond mere possessions. They may symbolize shifts in royal identity and values, as well as the ongoing struggle between tradition and modernity. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on this unfolding story.